Hello, my boy, my best is Ali Cat Castle. Your best, ah, your best, your brown skin back. Well, today again by request, we're doing another self care is a beauty care. Today we're going to be talking about how to find simple joys or how to experience simple joys. So, without further ado, let's begin right now. Ah, ah, ah. And today's inspiration is the calendula flower, which symbolizes happiness, grace, and joy. Joy! Ah! So, how to know or find or experience simple joys? Or in Tagalog, joy is kagalahan. So first, joy. According to Ramda, joy is freedom. When you are in joy with life, you are at peace with everything about you and cannot feel remorseful or insecure, fearful, angry, or lacking. And for me, as I said earlier, when you're also joyful, the three things that will make you experience or find that is first, appreciating the smallest things, second, counting your blessings, and third, knowing your limits. So first, Let's start with appreciating the small things or in Tagalog, pagpapahalaga. So, let me define for you what appreciate means. According to PositiveWordsDictionary.com, appreciate means to comprehend the value of something in terms of its worth or quality. As we saw here, appreciate, it, appreciate is connected with value, worth, and Quality. So same thing in life. If we see everything in our lives, whether that be small or big, and we see the value or the worth of it, then you're definitely going to experience the simple choice or being joyful or kagalakan. Um, an example of that would be, um, like for example, when someone gives you a flower, you're actually very happy, right? But when someone also gives you a big bouquet of flowers, that there on its own, that's big, makes you equally happy, right? So another thing, you know, in terms of like saving, you can actually appreciate, you know, the way you save even the smallest thing in the beginning. And then collectively over time, it grows and you appreciate it the same because you know or see the value or the worth of it, right? So, um, that's the reason why appreciating the small things is, for me, one of the ways for you to experience uh, the simple joys, right? Appreciating the small things, for more! Pagpapahalaga, for more! So, in Tagalog, pagpapahalaga, di ba, mga bes? Kasi kapag pinibigyan natin ng pagpapahalaga, ang bawat bagay sa mundo natin, maliit man o malaki, makikita natin na lahat merong value. ba? Kung baga, makikita natin doon na ang buhay pala talaga magagala ka kasi walang rason pa hindi maging masaya. The second thing is, counting your blessings or in Tagalog, mga pagpapala! So, Let's define what blessings mean. According to PositiveWordsDictionary.com, blessed means to feel a great sense of happiness or enjoyment. As we can see here, when they define blessings, it has the words great, or great added to happiness and enjoyment. Because for me, blessings is something like a miracle. It's something that's beyond our expectation. It's something more than what we asked for. And um, and if we actually see that we're actually blessed, then we can definitely experience the simple joys or find joys in everything, right? So just like for example, one example of uh, being blessed is waking up in the morning, right? Because when we wake up in the morning, that gives us an opportunity to be able to finish what we did not finish yesterday. And we have the whole day today, we're blessed to be given morning, afternoon, and evening to finish 
finish the task that we weren't able to finish yesterday. And whatever it is that we do today will affect what's going to happen tomorrow. Same thing when we commit a mistake yesterday. We're so blessed to be able to sleep at night and then we wake up in the morning and we have this sunshine for us to be able to correct whatever mistakes that happened yesterday. Right? Oh my gosh! I'm sure you like that. If you do, please press thumbs up, okay? And subscribe. Well, anyway. <laughs> In Tagalog, mga pagpapala! Right? Pagpapala, pabor! Kasi, di ba, kapag nakita natin na pinagpapala tayo, parang sa akin yan, ano yan eh? Parang miracolo, di ba? Kasi, um, binigay sa atin ng Diyos na kung ano man ang higit pa sa ating hiningi o sa ating pinagdasal, di ba? At sa buhay natin, imposible na uh, hindi tayo pinagpapala kasi uh, makikita natin sa mga bagay-bagay araw-araw. Siguraduhin lang natin na ang pagpapala, hindi lang sa mga, again, material na bagay na nakukuha natin sa buhay. Ang pagpapala din ay makikita natin sa iba't ibang bagay. Again, nakikita na sa relasyon natin sa magandang pamilya, magandang relasyon natin sa ating mga kaibigan, magandang relasyon kung sa pag-ibig, magandang relasyon sa um, sa trabaho. Diba? Doon pa lang, pagpapala na yun! Pagpapala pa Lord! Blessings pa ba? And the final one, knowing your limits or in Tagalog, Alam mo ang iyong hangganan! Knowing your limits, pamor! Uh! And alam mo ang hangganan mo, pamor! Uh! <laughs> so, what's the definition of limit? According to dictionary.com, limit means the final, utmost, or furthest boundary or point as to extent, amount, continuous, procedure, etc. <laughs> so, as we saw in the definition, limit or hangganan, it says boundary, right? It says a point. It's very important for us in life to be able to have a period towards something or um, an extent to something. Why? One of the great things for us to know our limits is uh, for us to uh, learn how to say no. Because sometimes uh, learning how to say no is the best thing that you can do. Um, not just for the situation itself, but more so for yourself and for the other person. So you can say the relationship or the situation. Because you, the, the best time for you to learn how to say no is when things are already against your morals, values, or beliefs. Because if it's already something that's against your moral, values, and beliefs, that's already a sign there that um, if you still continue it, it could be trouble. And that's the reason why sometimes listen to your heart. That's the reason why we were given our minds and our hearts for us to know uh, between what's right or what's wrong in order for us to also do things in moderation. Moderation! Come on! <laughs> or in Tagalog, hangganan. So, if we actually, kung alam lang natin, oh my God, kung alam lang natin ang ating hangganan, mas mapapahalagahan natin ang mga bagay-bagay. Kaya, minsan talaga, ang pinakamahalaga natin gawin is sabihin natin, hindi. Hindi para sa akin. At alam mo naman kung hindi para sa iyo. Kasi kapag ginawa mo yun, makikita mo ang kahalagahan ng sarili mo. At pag sinabi mo hindi, dun pa lang, um, pwede mo nang masave ang relasyon mo sa sarili mo, dun sa tao, at sa sitwasyon. ba So, relasyon sa sarili, sa tao, sa sitwasyon, baba! Kaya, kung may hangganan tayo, Huwag ka mag-alala dahil meron pa namang bukas! ba? Kung sa umaga, meron pa namang hapon, meron pa namang gabi, yun, may mga hangganan, ba? Ganun ang buhay. So, kailangan dapat may hangganan. So, those are the three things in order for us to find simple joys or experience.
experience simple joys. So please tell me, um, what are the things that you've appreciated lately, or um, what have you been blessed with? And, um, and what are the things that um, uh, you've done in moderation or that you've limited yourself to? I hope that you can write down in the comment section below so we can further discuss and talk about it. Um, sabihin nyo sa akin, ha mga best, kung ano ang mga pinapalaghan niyo, kung ano ang mga, alam ko kayo, mga pinagpala, at saka pangatlo ang ating hangganan. Ano, so isulat nyo naman sa baba para naman, di ba, magkaroon naman tayo ng discussion power! And again, this is Alec Catcastle saying that if you are internally beautiful, you are eternally beautiful! That's new! See, even I myself, I learn every day. And I want all of you to know that I love you and I wish you blessings for more. And why blessings for more? Because if you're blessed for more, then you can... The, because if you're blessed for more, there's so much for you to give and share for more. And if you give and share for more, then there will be this space in your heart where God can bless you for more! So again, I'll see you all soon. This is Alicat Castle saying, I love you, mahal kita! What would you like to tell her? My dad? Tell him, you know? Yeah, but if you could speak to him right now, what, what would you like to tell him? Um... Jane Dobre, Tazo! I would talk to him in Polish. Oh, what was it? Yeah. What was and, it? We... Uh, like, hi, Dad. Like, how you doing? You know? Uh -huh. um, but I would, um... I would just want to tell him I love you. You know? I just want to tell him I love you. And Mr. James John, we want to say thank you for giving Alice to us. And you know, like Alice is like, like, like really, really a very, very, very wonderful person. If not like one of the most, most wonderful person I've ever met in my lifetime. The only, you know, I do want to share one quote from my dad. He said, the most important thing is you do the right thing, even if it's not the most popular thing. And I think that that's a great quote that everybody can apply to anything. He was a smart man.